very good morning to you. Our text, Colossians 3 verse 17. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Our heading, holy walking. It is always an advantage to have the law of a kingdom as concise as possible. We want law to be put into such a form that it can be understood and that its application to different cases can be discovered at once. In the great moral government of God, we have no room to complain in this matter. The precepts of holiness are few and comprehensive. The whole of morality was summed up in ten commands and written upon two tables. Then, as if this were not concise enough, we have the whole law summarized in two commands. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and your neighbor as yourself. And even this is brought into shorter compass still. For that one word, love, is the essence of all divine law. So firstly, we have here a law applicable to every believer, to every action, word and thought, in every case, under all circumstances. We have before us a concise rule of life, a standard of morals, a guide to holiness, which we may carry in our memories without the slightest difficulty, and which, if we have but the will to use it, will be found never to fail us on any occasion. As the mariner's compass is to the marina, so may the text be to us. And secondly, this rule is not applicable to every person. It can only be practiced. Now listen to this. It can only be practiced by the regenerate. You must be in Christ before you can do anything in Christ's name. Until your nature is renewed, until you have submitted yourself unto the righteousness of Christ, until Christ is formed in you the hope of glory, you are not capable of walking after this high and hallowed fashion. You must be born again. Application, as application, we just use Peter's words of Acts 2 verse 37. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And I pray. Thank you, Father. And in your great wisdom, you made it so easy for us to understand but grant us to apply it. In Jesus' name, Amen.